So let's look at Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 15. This is where he says, Speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, <coughs> which is the head, even Christ. So what this is about is not just speaking the truth, but doing this the way you present it, right? This yeah. is all about making positive requests without manipulation, without barbs, without jabs, right? It's the way you say something to your spouse. Right, and so this is not a demand. If you can learn to approach your spouse with a request, would you please hold me right now? Would you please take a few minutes to talk to me right now? Um, you know, and, and just put a little positive request there. Back off. It's between them and the Lord how they decide to handle that. And we're respecting that my, my spouse has a right to make some choices. And that's okay. Even if it's not a choice I think they ought to choose. And so the thing is, we're not dictators in a marriage. Our child is not, our, I mean, our husband is not our, our child. Our spouse is not our child. We're not the parent. We should not have a parent-child relationship or a dictatorship happening in the marriage. That would be to discount the value and contribution of one of the spouses. All right, let's go on and look at Philippians chapter 4 and then verse 8. This is where he says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, <laughs> honest, just, pure, lovely, of good report, or if there be any virtue, if there any be, be any praise, think on this, these things. So this is where uh, we would say to make a list of 10 positive qualities of your spouse. Okay, and think on those things. This is what God's saying, right? He's saying find those things that are lovely, of good report, the virtue, the praise. Find the praise, find the virtue in your spouse. And when you are challenged with a behavior or wording or something that you don't like, you go to that list, maybe put it on your phone and pull up and remind yourself, that he or she is this, 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 and this, right? Because we can get a mentality like uh, somebody that wakes, we say somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed, right? And they start seeing everything that happens through the lens of that negative thing that kind of set the pace for the day. And we can get that way with our spouse and we can just start seeing them through that negative lens. And then they never do anything that pleases us. Right, and, and the thing is we would like to see couples be grateful for what they have instead of ungrateful for what they don't have. And, you know, it says in Matthew twelve thirty four, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if we fill our hearts with positive thoughts that are Holy Spirit-based instead of accuser of the brethren-based, it, it allows something different to flow out of the mouth when we get pricked. A lot of times one of the biggest things we hear from people when we share information like this is, I'm not going to pretend like everything's okay hmm. when we've got problems in the marriage. It's like nobody's asking you to pretend anything. We're asking you to position yourself. If you hmm. really want to be heard, why would you keep doing something that hasn't been working? Why not lay that down to pick up something different? Hmm.